There are occupational health and safety hazards within every work environment. Our response and alertness to these hazards better protects our profession, us and our patients. Podiatrists work approximately 36.4 hours per week. Therefore, it is important to protect our bodies to ensure a strong and vibrant career. Some things to remember about ergonomics when treating are keep your feet flat on the ground, your hips at 90 degrees, your upper back straight with a slight lumbar curve, which is best achieved by sitting forward on your chair. It is important not to reach for your trolley. This increases the torsional stress and strain placed on the body. Therefore, prior to treatment, adjust the trolley to be at an adequate distance from your treatment. Use the hydraulic foot controls to position the patient at an adequate height. This is best maintained by having your elbow below or at the level of your shoulder. This decreases the strain on the shoulder. Hair needs to be kept neat and tidy to avoid it obstructing vision and entering the aseptic field. Ladies, this means tying it neatly back in a bun. Uniform should be kept neat and tidy also with no deviations away from the uniform. This means no cardigans or jumpers. Ideally, uniforms should be laundered separately at home. Things like watches and wristbands should be limited to a wedding piece only. Therefore, watches should be removed prior to treatment. So, in terms of footwear, they should be podiatrically sound. This means a nice toe cap with laces. Any body fluid that is accidentally spilled should be dealt with immediately. All spills should be regarded as infectious and protective equipment should be worn. Place a piece of paper towel over the spill to allow a bulk of it to be absorbed. Once the bulk has been absorbed, we place the contaminated paper towel in an infectious waste bag and dispose of in the infectious waste bin. You will then be directed by Lucy to a spill kit, either the Viraclean or the detergent with water. Use these as directed and mop up with any excess paper towel. And then leave to dry. This video will demonstrate some of the use of aseptic technique within the Latrobe University Student Clinic. First thing first with the instruments, we open up the instrument and we now have an aseptic field. Once we treat the patient, we don't put the used item back in that field. We put it on the left, away from the aseptic field. Another important part is swabbing of the foot. We swab the foot with chlorhexidine. And once we're finished, we don't then put the chlorhexidine gauze back on the table. We pop it straight in the bin. If we've been using the drill, we must ensure that we wipe it down before we put it back in the handle. The use of ISO wipes is fine. After we've been treating, we must ensure that we dispose of the gloves and gowns before we then pick up the pen and file to write our notes. Before leaving the clinic treatment room for any reason, we must ensure that we de-glove and de-gown. It is important to dispose of infectious waste properly to minimise the risk of cross-contamination. Any infectious waste must be wrapped in the infectious waste bag And then with clean gloves, transport it to the infectious waste bin. Once transferred, we then place the infectious waste in the infectious waste bin. 